Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters and I post videos weekly so turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. I also make worksheets available after every video so that you are actually able to practice and mark what it is that you have learned to check to see how well you understand the content so for that you can look in the description box below if you find that it's not there yet please note that we are working on it and you can then keep up to date when it's actually going to be available on my community page on my youtube channel all right so in this video i'm going to be teaching you about quadrilaterals starting with squares and rhombuses this is a one uh this is a three-part video. This is the first video of a three-part series. And in this specific video, I'm going to be teaching you all about squares and rhombuses, um, what their properties are, how to answer questions based on them, and essentially just explaining the entire concept of quadrilaterals and what it is that you are required to know. So, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, so this is a lesson um, under geometry and we are going to be looking at the square and the rhombus. Um, yeah, so before I get into square and rhombuses, this is a section, this is a subsection under geometry that is called quadrilaterals. And in this section, you have to always remember when you're being asked questions like this, that you have to give reasons like you did um, like you would do in my previous videos when we did alternate angles, um, parallel lines, etc. Uh, so this is one of those sections where for every answer you have to give a reason. Okay, so we're going to start off by looking right at the top. We're going to be looking at quadrilaterals. Um, so this is a subsection under quadrilaterals, but let me just explain to you what a quadrilateral is. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape with angles that add up to 360. So the triangle adds up to 180, but a quadrilateral adds up to 360 degrees, the angles, right? And there are six quadrilaterals that you are expected to know. The first two, and I like to group them in pairs, and I will be covering them in pairs in my videos as well, because I just find it's a lot easier for you to remember it in that way. So the square and the rhombus we're going to learn about together. And that's what they look like. Then we're going to look at the rectangle and the parallelogram. That's what the rectangle looks like. And that's what the parallelogram looks like. And then lastly, we will focus on the kite and the trapezium. But in this specific video, like I said, is going to be focused just on squares and a rhombus. And then I will make the next video on the rectangle and parallelogram and then kite and trapezium as sort of second um, videos to this, follow-up videos to this specific video. Okay, so let's zoom in to the properties of a square. Now, what's important here for you to note is you have to memorize this. These are, these, these are things where it's like it's properties that you have to know, it's properties that you have to study, so that you can actually answer the questions based on the properties and you'll understand what I mean in a second. So let's first just study the properties of a square. So firstly, all the sides of a square are equal. So this one is easy. I'm sure you know this one already. So all of the sides of a square are exactly the same. Then all opposite sides are parallel. So that means that these two sides are parallel to each other, which is this means that they are the same distance apart. And these two lines are parallel, which means they are same distance apart from each other throughout. Okay, um, I do have a video on parallel lines if you want to go into more detail with that or if you're not quite sure what that means. I have an entire video that explains that. Okay, so these of a square are parallel. The third criteria is that all the angles inside are 90 degrees of a square. So 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, like I mentioned in the previous slide, will add up to 360 because it is a quadrilateral. Four sides with angles adding up to 360. Then lastly, diagonals bisect each other 
and bisect at 90 degrees. So this is the one that usually confuses students. So a diagonal line is just a line from one corner of a shape to the opposite corner of that shape. So this is a diagonal and this is a diagonal. Now when they say that diagonals bisect, the word bisect means divides into um, divides it into two equal parts. So the when they say diagonals bisect, it means that this diagonal cuts this diagonal exactly half. So this side will equal to that side, and this side will equal to that. So in essentially, all of these lengths will be equal to each other. Right? And it also says that it bisects at 90 degrees, which means at the point where these two lines cut, all of these angles are 90 degrees. Okay, so these are the properties that you need to study and understand about a square. Now, let's look at a rhombus. Very similar, with just a, a slight few differences. Okay, so let's have a look. Again, of a rhombus, I always consider a rhombus just to be a square that's tilted. Okay, so all the sides are still equal to each other, are exactly the same. All sides are parallel, like it is with a square. But here, instead of all the angles being 90 degrees now, the opposite angles are equal to one another. So whatever the, the top right one is, the bottom left angle will be the same size. Same with the left top and the right bottom. So these two angles, opposite angles in a rhombus will be equal, and those angles will be equal, knowing that all of these add up to 360. Okay? Then diagonals bisect and bisect at 90. Again, here, all the diagonals are not equal to each other, but this diagonal does cut this one in half, and this diagonal does cut that one in half. And again, all of the angles in the, in the center here are 90 degrees. Okay, so that is the properties of a rhombus. Now, fine and well, ma'am, this is okay, I understand that, but I don't understand how they ask questions. And that's what I'm going to show you, how to answer questions now based on the properties. And these questions will also show you how important it is for you to know the properties, so that you can actually answer the questions based on them. Okay, so let's have a look here. The question says, the orange shapes are rhombuses, and the yellow shapes are squares. So they're telling you that these shapes are rhombuses and squares, Determine with reasons the value of x, y, and z in each question where applicable. So if I look at the first question, this is a rhombus. So already my brain knows the properties because in this case I know I'm looking at the angles and I know in a rhombus the opposite angles are equal to each other. So that means in this first question x has to equal to 95. But because we're working in a section where we always have to give reasons for our answer, the reason for this would be opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. Okay, let's move to the second question now. If I look at this, this is a square. And I see, okay, I've got diagonals, right? I've also got these angles. So if I look at this, already I know that x is 90 degrees because diagonals cut at 90 Right, so let's see, x is equal to 90, diagonals of a square cut at 90 degrees, right? Then, what is y? So do you see here now that we have a triangle here? Okay, so y, x, and 45 must add up to 180. So in order for us to find y, we're just going to say 180 minus the 45 minus the 90 that we've now discovered. Why? Because these are interior angles of a triangle. And then we would simplify that answer, and y would then have to equal to 45 degrees as well. Okay, now let's move over to number three. So here we've got three letters. X and Y are referring to angles, and Z wants us to calculate the length of a side. So let's see how we do this. X is equal to 45. Try and see if you can figure out why. X is equal to 45. Why? Because this... Uh, this lines are parallel, right? So if you looked at my and you went through my parallel video with alternate angles, you will see that 45 is equal to x, and the reason is it makes z. Okay, 
A, because AD is parallel to BC. So alternate angles, the Z, and AD is parallel to BC. So that's X. Right, so now let's have a look at Y. We know that this is a rhombus, and we look at why is the angles where the diagonals bisect. And at what degrees do the diagonals bisect? At 90 degrees. So Y has to equal 90 degrees. And why? Because the diagonals of a rhombus cut at 90 degrees. Right, and then Z is the length of a side. So do you see that, that these two are diagonals? And this one cuts this one in half. So if this one is 10 centimeters, then Z also has to equal to 10 centimeters. Again, what is my reason? Diagonals of a rhombus bisect. Okay, so do you see how you are using the properties of these shapes to actually answer questions on these shapes? Okay, so let's look at the next one. This is a square, okay, and they want us to know X and Y. So if I look at that, X is referring to the length of the side, and so X obviously is 15 because all the lengths of the sides of a square are the same. So if this side is 15, then this side also has to be 15. So X is equal to 15 centimeters. And what is my reason? Equal sides of a square. Okay, then the last one should be easy enough. The last one refers to an angle and this is a square. So the angles of a square is 90 degrees. And that would mean that Y is equal to 90 degrees because... The angles of a square is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so those are your examples and that's how you apply the properties. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video and I want you to try and answer these four questions for me. Okay, so pause the video, write down the answers, answer the questions and then when you are done, unpause the video and then we will, I will mark it with you and you can see if you understood this content correctly. Okay, so now let's look at the answers. Hopefully you feel confident about what you've answered. Remember, you always have to give a reason. So let's look at the first question. We said X is equal to 34 because of the Z. And that means it's alternate angles and you have to always give the parallel lines used for them, which is AB is parallel to CD. Excuse me, if we look at Y, Y do you see? Okay, let's just go back there. If you look here, this is a triangle. This is 34. This is 90 because this is a rhombus and diagonals bisect. So in order to find Y, which is the triangle, I'm just going to say X minus 34 minus 90. And this will be the interior angle of a triangle. So in other words, Y is then equal to 56. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that answer right. Let's try number two. Now, if I look at this, do you see here, these lines are parallel, X is then, the, these two lines are parallel here, so X will then, these two, because they are co-interior angles, have to then add up to 180. So in order to find X, we would say 180 minus X, um, yeah, sorry, 180 minus 86, and that will, reason will be co-interior angles, AB is parallel to CD. Again, if you are struggling with the co-interior and alternate angles, I do have a video on this. Please go and have a look at it. It's called Parallel Lines, and you will learn all about this in that video. Okay, so the answer for X is then 94 degrees. Right, so that's all we needed to do by number two. Number three, this one was nice and easy. X is equal to 90 because this is a square. And then Y is equal to 50 because all the sides are equal. Okay. Sorry, I think I missed this answer here. So Y is equal to 15. Then number four, X is 90 because it's at the center and diagonals bisect. Y is then equal to 19 because all of these diagonals in a square are equal to each other. And that is your answers for this exercise. Hopefully you got it right. You can look in my description box to see if there's an activity that's ready for you to further practice this. And yeah, hopefully you understand squares and rhombus. And I, in the future videos, I will then do parallelogram and a rectangle and then kite and um, 
what is the other one? A trapezium. All right, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you found it helpful, if you have any questions, please add it in the comment section below. Also, keep your eye out for the worksheets that will be available. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And I appreciate your support. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.